Ben. Now to a young man who cheated death on a snowmobile and lived to tell about it. The high school sophomore thought he was riding over a snowbank. No, he rode over a cliff. Scott Wasserman joins us with just how far he fell. Yeah, and lucky. John Billow fell the equivalent to a five-story drop. If his snowbell, snowmobile hit the, uh, if his snowmobile hit him, he would be dead. Had he had not been wearing a helmet, he would also be dead. Had he landed on his back or neck instead of his foot, who knows? But John knows there are lessons to be learned for other snowmobilers. Uh, I've been snowmobiling since I was five. John Billow loves snowmobiling. The 16-year-old says it's his favorite sport. I just like going fast. And that's why he's here at St. Cloud Hospital. Uh, I feel very fortunate and lucky. Are you surprised you're alive? Yeah. John and his father, Matt, were out at the Magadans family farm on Saturday. While they had ridden this land several times before, they ended up going in an unfamiliar area. And I see this little hill. And I'm going about 30 miles an hour, and I accelerate a little. Next thing I know, I'm like flailing my arms in the air. In the air and falling 50 feet down to a gravel pit. It was just like, holy crap, you know, like, this is happening. When he eventually hit the ground, his father knew John was in bad shape. It was incredible that he was awake, well alone alive. John suffered a broken wrist and a cracked femur, but without the new helmet he got from his dad for Christmas... Who knows? And it was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to, but I'm glad I bought it because uh, I suspect it saved his life. The Billows have been snowmobiling for 30 years, with this the first major injury. Something that can happen to even to the most experienced riders. And they know how fortunate they are. I feel very blessed that he's, he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. So they are using their experience to warn others, stay on the snowmobile trail, know your surroundings, and when unfamiliar with the area, simply slow down. If we can help uh, someone to uh, slow it down and be safe out there, I think that'd be great. I thought it was just a normal hill, you know. Like, I didn't know if it, if it was a drop-off or not. Know where you're going. Otherwise, you might end up falling off cliff. Yeah, just like John. John was released from the hospital this evening and will spend the next six to eight weeks in a wheelchair. The high school sophomore is in competitive speech and says it's likely his story of cheating death will make it into a competition. Jeff and Robin, back to you guys.